What's up guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight. Now we do have some interesting stuff to do in the last episode we unlocked this new area, but before we do so, why don't we do this little uh, map event? What's it gonna be? Ooh, it's like a little uh, side-scrolling level gimmick kind of thing. So we have a lot of opportunities to gain a lot of money in these kind of areas, but of course this, this, the screen scrolls without our control, so it can be a little risky. Gotta be very, very careful. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we're making it so far. Might want to wait up for the screen a bit. <laughs> you know we're good when the screen. We have to wait for the screen. That's how fast we are. We're just blazing. Okay, I'll, I'll take this bottom one. I would like to take that top one. Really quick, come on. Can I get some of these? Get it, get it. Awesome, got a few. Not bad, not bad. Some decent spoils so far. Nothing too bad. Oh, look at that big diamond. Ba-boom. Swimming in it. Wow, we're getting a ton of cash. Awesome. Okay, let's head out of here. And saving. Cool. Now we're going to go and do the Forest of Phasing. And these are an interesting type of level. You can obviously see there's a diamond icon as this level. So let's hop in and I'll explain it a bit. What's he gonna say? Yikes, spikes! If only I could phase away to safety, I could cross and get so much treasure. So, those diamond icon levels have to do with those power-ups. You know, those power-ups we get during the levels. This one specifically has to do with the phasing. So I can phase and walk over some spikes and get some very nice moolah. Now this is gonna happen a number of times throughout the level, and we can get a lot of money because we, you know, are very diligent and we collect a lot of nice stuff. So I can do a little bit of this, and a little bit of that, and then hop on this jelly bean man. Where's it gonna get some good stuff done? Oh! I am horrible. <laughs> Try to. Okay, okay, got it this time. It didn't horribly mess up. Got that phase. Got that phase. Okay, okay, working out gorgeously. Oh boy, I forgot about this. I forgot about this part. I forgot about this part. Okay. Sort of threw off my rhythm there, but it's okay. Got it back. Got my rhythm back. Back to my smooth groove. Oop, don't wanna waste too much of my mana or I'll run out and that won't be good. If I run out, I'll be forced to die in some situations, I suppose. Should have plenty of mana that do this, so if I pay attention to the sound cues, you'll sort of hear sort of like a sparkle sound when you're starting to run out and this guy's gonna do that, not a big deal. Got the bounce on him. Okay, now these guys are hard to deal with, obviously easier if we do this. Now, you can kill these guys if you want some extra cash, but obviously with 10 gold a pop, they're not really that worth it. Okay, let's kill this guy. Get this going for us a bit. Okay. Okay, one step at a time. Awesome. Okay, I think this is the end of it here. Maybe? Let's see. Okay, we got a money piece, or not a money piece, excuse me, but a music piece. And obviously very, very worth it that we did that. Okay, though, that's what we can do. We can only do that once. It was very awesome. Okay, going the wrong way. Uh, we want to go over to, uh, uh-oh. Okay, I was actually going to go to this new village, but we can't do that yet. All right, then, I'm actually going to go to the Triple King really quick then, and we're going to uh, get our chalices refilled. Okay. So we're going to get, actually, one of these. Wait, yeah, did I get this? Okay, there we go. Now if we check it out. Okay, I see now. There you go, cool. Awesome. All right, we're good to go. I'm gonna switch back to this and let's head on out of here. All right then, fair enough, why don't we hop into the Explodatorium Lair of the Plague Knight. Okay, this level's interesting, a little different from the others, but that's not a bad thing. The design, the look, some of the landscapes, very, very interesting. And you know, if you put them side by side to other levels in this game, sometimes you could even doubt it's from the same game. But that's, like I said, not a bad thing. Sometimes some large differences are a good thing. Variety is never a bad thing. That's why I like to keep my channel with variety, you know, upload different varietous uploads. Uh, okay, now we gotta be very careful here. If we stand, obviously you might see the gimmick here. If we stand on these things, then they will go on fire. So we gotta tread lightly, I guess. Alright, these rats, very annoying, because what they do is when you hit them, 
they will bounce and then they will explode. So it's very easy to get hurt by them. Okay. This rat, mmm, get dumped. And up here we'll have a chest. Before I get that, let me get some moolah down here. How does this stuff to get already? Uh, we're actually about to get 10,000 gold. I don't think I've had 10,000 gold at all at one point. Usually I'm a quick spender in this game, so this is interesting. Obviously I'm having a lot easier time this playthrough than my original one, which is why I'm sort of glad I didn't let's play this game blind like I've been doing mostly recently in my let's plays. But uh, yeah, things have been working out well. Okay, so now things aren't working out too grand. We gotta be careful. Make sure none of our, no more, no more of our precious moolah gets tampered with here. So one thing we could also do is use our phase effect to uh, not get hit here or get knocked off into a abyss. Wow! Did I just do that? One step forward, one step back, I guess. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why am I having such a hard time? I guess because I was talking about how decently everything was going. Oh well. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Okay, so what I want to do here is pull out my fishing rod. I'm hoping this won't be a triple king fish, because we just got our chalices refilled. But let's see. I'm hoping it's a goldfish, so you know we can get some precious moolah, and it is. Also, we did break that 10,000, which is awesome. Okay. Okay. Oof. Wow. Too close for comfort, if I do say so myself. Can I hop up here? No, I can't. Okay, be careful, be careful. Okay, finally we get that checkpoint I was looking for. Hmm. Okay, so but steady, so that we can head up here. And the only way you could get up here is if you explode that mouse at the right time. If we do this right, we get a nice chest. Can be also very dangerous, but we also get a music piece for it. Very awesome. Definitely worth the risk, I'd say so. All right, let's hop on down, deal with more of these stinking rats. No, you, 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 you little stinker. See, this is why I hate them. They just hop around like willy-nilly, and they get to just get this get out of the jail free card because I can't hit them. Okay, let me switch to this, and let's get out of here. And we're really swimming in gold, though. Now, these guys can be a pain. So if we hit them quick enough, it's not that bad. But if you really let them get at you, then it can be very hard. So definitely save some, uh, save some magic to deal with those guys. Okay. And get this. Awesome. Okay, we really do have a ton of money. I've never had this m this much money. And this is where things get a little weird. Is in this area. It's like it's. It's like, I honestly feel like if you showed me this screenshot along with the other Shovel Knight screenshots, I would have thought this is part of a different game. Now, I do believe there might be something over here. It's up here or somewhere over there. I just don't understand why there's a platform over here if there's nothing. You know what? It might be that I need to do this. Let me experiment a bit here. If you guys don't mind. Uh, nope, nothing? Huh. Weird, it's just sort of a platform that happens to be there then. Unless I'm really just missing something super obvious. Which I don't believe I am. Now these cauldrons that explode will get more difficult here in a moment. As we'll have some interesting scenarios to deal with. Like right here, where we have these spikes. And if, of course if we hit these spikes it is a one hit KO. So we gotta time ourselves, pay attention to what cauldron we're standing on. So we don't hop on one that leads us to our death. There we go. Survived it for now. Dun dun dun. Oh gosh, now this guy's trying to be a little jerk. Okay, so there's this area over here. Let's go in here and check it out. This might be. Oh wow, this guy. This guy will go crazy on me. This guy's very difficult. He's a green one. Green ones mean business, I guess. Okay, how am I dealing with this? There we go. Okay, I got him. I don't think I've killed that guy before. Usually I just let him be. Okay, run, 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 book it, book it. This ship has sailed. Just keep running and ignore everything in my path. There we go, got it, okay. Wow, that actually worked out pretty decently. Okay, now I gotta get rid of that. And what's in here? Ooh, it's our new power-up. Probably would have helped with whatever I just dealed with it. Probably an easier solution right in here. What's it gonna be? 
in the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You're not gonna believe what I just found in this chest. You wanna see? Of course, it is a coin for chance and riches. I don't, I've never really used this one. It just didn't make really much sense to me. Flip the coin, and I guess, like, when it stops rolling, it drops money? Toss the coin for a chance at riches. Like, it doesn't really explain itself that well. Not very useful in my opinion. Never have had to use it. That doesn't matter. Okay, so let's dig this stuff up, get some health, which is good, because I really needed it. All right, and now we have this spider thing. Looks creepy. Get rid of it. Okay, there we go. All right. So far, so good. Check out the area for some secrets really quick before we uh, completely dismiss it. All right, looking clean, looking clean. Okay, and let's hop down here, get another checkpoint. I love the checkpoint security. Makes me feel comfortable about the fact that I'm not missing anything. All right, now I gotta bounce off this guy's head just right so I get those diamonds. I love that though, it's like, if you're not good at this game, you can still survive. But if you are good, you can be rewarded with, like, better gems. Not to say that I am, like, some master of this game, but since I'm more comfortable with the controls, it leads to more positive scenarios for me. It's a good thing, though, because the controls are easy to get acquainted to. And I really think that's a very strong point to this game. Now here, not completely clear what I can do. There is a power-up later that I use to get this, personally. Maybe this guy can help me out? Come on, a little closer, a little closer. Come on, stop your jig. Stop your jig and get over here, buddy. You're not gonna wanna work the way I want you to work, are you? You can't even get me up high enough. You could, you could if you get a little closer, come on. And I killed him. Okay, um, yeah, there's, there's a power-up I use to get this later in the game. I'm really not sure how else you would get it. Maybe I should hit up this checkpoint over here and try to experiment a bit and see if there's anything. One trick is to come from the right of him and you're able to do it. Now I do believe if I can do this correctly, no I can't, I can't do it correctly, I stink. But basically you can hop off the jellies and get on top of that platform and do it that way. I've just lost a ton of gold so I feel like I should just let it be. Now we had this guy, this vile guy, same vials as the uh, Mini games, so I wonder if we can hit these away. Not sure. Oh gosh, he's gonna turn into the Incredible Hulk? Ah, some form of monster. Okay, let's uh, get the bounce on his head, though. This guy isn't too hard if you just do it correctly. You gotta keep hopping on his head when convenient, and he's gonna go back to this guy. Should still be able to kill him off soon, come on. I'm getting low on health myself, so I gotta be careful. There we go. I'm right, gonna roll in the dough a bit, and head on to the right. And a uh, nice, another checkpoint, that's gonna be helpful. You know, there wasn't too much of a distance between checkpoints, but still a helpful thing. All right, and we have another fishing spot. I'm guessing this one's gonna be the Triple King thing. <laughs> the Triple King thing. Oh, up, uh, yep it is, okay. All right, well, if you need one, it's there. Okay, let's, uh, ooh, dodge. Okay, this guy going, again, going crazy. So, can I use my coin on this guy, maybe? Okay, I guess the coin was useless. Yeah, okay, I don't understand. I don't think the coin really had any relation to what the, that room or this level has to offer. To be honest, the coin has like so little relevance from what I've seen. Okay, we finally got him. This is where things can be a little difficult. We need to time this because, you know, one, they're, you know, like they alternate. And that can be really hard in this upcoming part. This guy's a jerk, so let me get the bounce on him. This is where they don't alternate, and you just have to time your jumps, and ooh, is it difficult. Oh, and I had it, and I just missed for no reason. And I accidentally paused. Well, <laughs> there's that. So honestly, I, I think it's easier to use the phase ring here. You can also shovel your uh, money. Sometimes the money can respawn in a spot that's really difficult to deal with. He would just need to hop at the right time. Can be difficult, but manageable. There we go. Okay, and whoa, look at all this. Oh, messed that up. 
Ooh, come on, we're almost there. Don't die on me now. Okay. Let's get the heck up here. Jeez, and here's another difficult area. The levels just get more and more hard here on in. So be ready for it. Oh, don't want to do that, but I did it. Okay. Oh, come on. No. Oh, no. <laughs> I uh, I guess this is what I get for being diligent. Of course, I'm trying to check for secrets. Oh, and there's the ghost me. It is an evil shovel knight. Ooh. Okay, there's a few of these evil shovel knights awaiting us over here. Can be a little hard to deal with, but they don't seem to have much of a brain. They have the looks of the shovel knight, but not the brain of one. As he can uh, just sort of walk left and right, and that's all these guys can do. He's gonna hop down there. Okay, whatever. Not gonna deal with them. Okay. Things are working all right. Hmm. There we go. Okay. So we did a little trickaroo, and now we're up here. Ha ha! I've never done this before. Interesting. Gonna get some moolah for it, and then hop my way over here. <laughs> Look at me go! I did miss out on a clump of money there, but that's okay, that's okay. I, I can't complain. Oh no, oh, a diamond. I want it. I want all the moolah. Obviously, I'm very money obsessed when it comes to this game. I just, I don't know, it's fun to collect things. Now this guy can be in a really tight spot, so I'm just gonna... Oh, there we go, okay. And then now we have this fishing spot again. Also, did you know you can kill people with the fishing rod? I don't think I've been able to find a scenario where I can show it off, because it's very, very hard to do so. But it's funny when I found out. It was just sort of completely by accident. There we go. Get a golden fish, that's gonna give me some money. Okay, finally, this should be the last checkpoint to the boss. Hopefully, let's see what's up. Hop on down the scary abyss. Uh-oh, bedrock. He, leave me alone. Show yourself, Plague Knight. Your trickery will not stop me. Trickery, he, <laughs> the fruits of my research are no mere trick. Boom, he, he, he. Now let's have a lesson, shall we? I promise, he, it will not, it will be enlightening. Okay, if you want a duke, just say so. Now this guy, very quick, very agile, hops all over the place like a maniac, and he is a maniac, so it fits. So he's gonna throw a lot of weird potions at us that really can be difficult to deal with. I just say, hop a bunch on your shovel, do your down bouncing, and things should work out pretty well for you. Now I'm low on health, so now's a good time to use my chalice. There we go, whoa. Okay, now, 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 there we go, there we go. Okay, back to this. Now get the bounce on you as you're throwing. When he does that, that's a really good time to hop on him because he stays in one position, which isn't something he does very often. So chalices actually make this game, or the boss fights, a lot more manageable. I used to actually not use the chalices because I always forgot, and I'd just do the bosses over and over again until I beat them. But you know, it's like much more manageable now. And another day, another person vanquished. <laughs> I don't believe we'll have a dream, no. Okay, alley oop. So, with that finished, let's head out into the world again. And there we go. So, we got a lot of enemies to deal with, looks like. But we'll deal with that on the next episode. So I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.